Hi everyone, this is Miss Chrisman and this is your word study video for Monday, May 11th. It's rainbow week! If you forgot and you're not wearing your red clothes or your pink clothes today, pause this video, go run back to your bedroom, go dig through your clothes, go find something that's pink and red, put it back on, and then come right back. I'll be waiting for you. Um, I want to show you first before we start our word study video today. I went on a little scavenger hunt around my house. I decided just to look for things that were pink. I think it was a little bit easier to just find one color. So I found these pretty, pretty pink flowers. I found a pink candle. It smells really good. I wish you could smell it. Mmm. It's rose water. Um, I found this cute book called You Are My Happy. And I found this pencil case that's pink that has this cool toucan on it. And the mouse pad for my computer is pink. What did you guys find? I can't wait to see. Um, you can send pictures of your learning um, to echristman at ebrook.org or post them on the Brooke Roslindale Facebook page so that everybody can see your rainbow clothes. and. Um, you can see what your friends are wearing and what your friends are doing. I also have this pink jacket on and I have my red band. Okay, now let's get into word study. The very first thing I need to do is tell you about an awesome shout out today that I have for Louie and Johnson in Wales. Louis is so focused in this video. Like his eyes are just like like laser beams on his paper. You can see he's so focused. You can feel his focus when you're watching the video. And guess what? He was so focused. He spelled inspiring correctly all by himself on his very first try. Check it out. Okay, before we learn our two new words for today, let's review um, some of the words that we learned last week. Also, look how cute Teddy is sleeping right there. Um, okay, so on Friday, Amy taught us a word, um, and it meant when something is happening a lot, her tooth was bleeding profusely. I apologized to Teddy profusely. Um, when it's hot outside, you might be sweating profusely. We also learned a cute word um, for when people are really old, they are elderly. Let's review some of the other words that we learned last week. Um, we know that if you kind of want one thing, but you also kind of want the other thing, you are feeling conflicted. And if somebody has a really nice smile and it makes you want to smile when you see it, then their smile is contagious. But also, coronavirus is very contagious and you are very smart and a super smart college word for that is intelligent and if you're dressed up nice and fancy today for rainbow week then you probably look very elegant if you thought you were going to do one thing but then you have to do something else and you're okay with that then you are flexible. And also Simone Biles and other gymnasts who can do splits and bend in all sorts of ways, they are very flexible. And cheerleaders are super enthusiastic. 
And cheerleaders who are enthusiastic have a lot of energy. They are very energetic. And when something is so funny and it makes you laugh so, so hard, it is ha ha ha. Hilarious. Look at how many words we already know. Give yourself a round of applause. Are you ready to learn two new ones today? Okay. The two words we're going to learn today actually might be words that you already know, but I want us to practice using them in a sentence and writing them in a sentence and sounding them out. They might not be brand new words to you, um, but I think you're going to love learning them anyways. Um, make sure you have something to write with and something to write on, and let's get started. The first word we are going to learn today is the word powerful. Let's clap it out. Powerful, powerful, three, sound it out on your board now, just like with Louie's great focus. Pow, oh, I hear ow, 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 pow. Okay, you know the drill. If you need a couple of more seconds, pause this video, um, but check your work. Okay, let's talk about this word powerful. If you are in Rochester, you know that we talk about this word powerful a lot, and that's because you are all powerful. You, each one of you, you have a lot of power. Sometimes people think, oh, you're just a little kid. You're only five. You're only six. No, you are powerful. You have the power um, to do a lot of amazing things. And let me tell you some examples. You have the power to make other people feel really loved. Just doing a little thing like saying something nice to somebody else makes them feel really loved and your power did that. Try it out today. Just give somebody a hug and it makes them feel really loved and your power did that. You also have the power to make the world a better place. You can do things like picking up trash. You can do things like teaching people about problems in the world and helping them to make those problems get better. You have the power to not just use your words to make things better, but Miss G is teaching you in your writing lessons that you can use your writing to make things better too. When people are powerful, you can use your power for good and that's what you should do. Everybody also has the power to do bad things. Every single one of us does. I have the power to make people feel bad. I could say mean things that would make people feel really bad and my power would do that. I have the power to make the world a worse place. I could throw my trash on the ground. So I have the power to do that. And so that's why it's important for us to learn about our power now so that you can make choices to use your power for good and not for evil. I want you to think about your power right now. And I don't usually do this, but I'm going to tell you how I want you to start your sentence. I want you to write, I am powerful. I will use my power and then tell something that you're going to do to use your power for good. You can start writing now. I am powerful. I will use my power Okay, you might need a little bit more time, so pause this video if you do, because what we wrote was a little bit longer today, but I want to show you what I wrote. I wrote, I am powerful. 
I will use my power to teach kids college words. So I'm using my power right now to teach you these brand new words. Powerful. Everybody say, I am powerful. I can't wait to hear about how you are going to use your power for good. The next word we are going to learn is another word that you probably have heard before. Um, people might have even called you it before, but I want us to practice sounding it out and writing it in a sentence. Say it after me. The word is adorable. Let's clap out the syllables. Adorable. Adorable. Or. Sound it out on your board now, on your paper now. Adorable. tricky one to sound out. If you need a few seconds, pause this video, but let's check your work. Okay, let me teach you about the word adorable. The word adorable just means so cute. Like how Teddy's sleeping back there right now is so adorable. He is so cute. Babies are adorable. You are adorable. Little baby animals are adorable, like baby ducklings and baby elephants. Um, I want you to think about somebody that you know that's adorable and write about them on your board right now. The word adorable comes from the word to adore, which means that like it makes you love somebody so much because they're so cute. Okay, if you need a few more seconds, pause this video. Um, but I want to tell you what I wrote. So I said, Teddy is adorable when he is sleeping. And then I made an exclamation point and I made a heart eyes emoji inside of a heart because he's so adorable. I adore him so much. Um, let's review the two words that we learned today. First, we learned that you are powerful and you are also so cute you are adorable um those are our words for today i'm going to show you what your job is for your seesaw video today i mean for your seesaw assignment and get started on that and i will see you tomorrow for orange and yellow day i can't wait Okay, for your seesaw assignment this week, I made it with some really cute pictures. I did it a little bit differently than we've done um, in the past few weeks. So you're not going to choose which page you want to do. Um, you're just going to do both pages. So on the first page, you see these really cute pictures. And your job is going to be to say each word. Um, so say unicorn and then clap it out. Unicorn. And then same thing you did um, last week. You should write the number of syllables to the side of it. Um, but then on the next page, you're going to do some clapping and some writing. So you'll see those cute little pictures. And then your job is going to be to clap out the syllables. So carrot two.
then, oops, then after you clap at the syllables and say how many there are, then I want you to sound out the word however you can. So it doesn't have to be spelled exactly right. So maybe you want to sound it out. Care, care it. That it. Um, I hope you like the little pictures as much as I do, and I can't wait to see your work.